morning's U.S. Bank Economic 360. We're going to help you navigate the new tax laws. U.S. Bank Vice President and Portfolio Manager Mike Deneman is with us this morning along with Scott Mann, Managing Director of Wealth Strategies at Ascent Capital Management, a division of U.S. Bank. Gentlemen, we need your help. Thank you, Brian, and good morning, Scott. Uh, there was a lot of concern around year end with the fiscal cliff negotiations. Uh, we didn't get the so-called grand bargain, but we did get some clarity on tax rates. So what can you tell us about that agreement? We did, Mike. Uh, and, and really, I would say it's, it's a good news, bad news story. Uh, for, for most taxpayers, I'd say the vast majority of taxpayers, it's on balance, it's good news. The higher income folks are going to pay more taxes, okay. but let, let's go through it. So, so the Bush tax cuts uh, that we've been enjoying for about 10 years now, which lowered marginal rates on everybody, right. those are now permanent. Uh, they had a 10-year window, now they're permanent. So that's good news. That saves everybody tax. Uh, a bit of bad news, we had a two-year uh, payroll tax holiday of 2% on Social Security tax uh, that was 4.2% for the last two years. It's going back up to 6.2%. So everybody in their January paycheck, they're going to notice that, that, that those taxes sure. have gone up. Sure. Uh, and then on the higher income uh, taxpayers, that's really where the debate was, is where do you draw the line for the higher income taxpayers? What rate should they pay and what line, where do you draw the line as far as income. So the, the line has been drawn at $450,000 per year for married folks. And if you're over that level, uh, you pay the old Clinton top tax rate of 39.6%. Okay. All right. And I know there were some other aspects of the Bush tax cuts that were either continued over or slightly modified. Give us some insight on, on some of those changes. Yeah, so, so there were several popular Bush tax credits and cuts that, uh, beyond the rates, that, that, that uh, they had permanently extended. So, for example, the child tax credit, that's now permanent. We now have permanent alternative minimum tax relief. Uh, some of the educational incentives that, that were in there, those are now permanent. So, okay. again, those will, benefit, those will benefit a lot of people. Sure. Uh, on, on a shorter-term basis, we've had one-year extensions of a lot of business incentives. They've been doing that for years, one year at a time. And also for folks that have IRA accounts, if you're over 70 and a half, you can take your IRA distribution, send it directly to charity, sure. and not have to pick it up in income. So that's a benefit. Too. Sure, sure. Well, one aspect of the, of the whole fiscal cliff that drew a lot of attention, especially to the market, were the tax rates on capital gains and, and, and dividends. So what does this agreement mean for investors? Again, on, on balance for most folks, I think it's very positive. So under, under the Bush tax cuts, uh, the top rate for dividends and long-term gains was 15%. Mm -hmm. That is now permanent. Uh, and again, for most folks, that's going to be their top rate. Uh, for folks in the higher income brackets, however, if you're over that $450,000 threshold that I talked about before, uh, you will now pay 20% on long-term gains and dividends. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, that, that, that is good news. And then lastly, we've heard a lot about the so-called surcharge to help pay for the new health care law. Right. Who is that going to apply to? Right. So remember, when, when we passed uh, Obamacare back in the president's first administration, there were taxes that were to come in this year. Uh, this new tax law has no bearing on those taxes. So this is the first year that those apply. Again, it's targeted at high-income folks. Okay. On, on these taxes, however, the line is drawn at 250000 for married folks. Okay. So it affects two pieces. For wages, if you're a wage earner, uh, you will pay an additional 0.9% on all wages over 250000 if you're married, so just under 1%. And then again, for the investor class, so for people with interest, dividends, capital gains, uh, if you're over that 250 threshold, it's an additional 3.8% on everything over the 250. Gotcha. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for that insight. It, it's, uh, it'll be interesting to see how the, the rest of the fiscal cliff very plays much out. so. Thanks. Right.